Right guys, well, uh, Merry Christmas to you all. So uh, I'm in Ardley in Hertfordshire, uh, to be precise, uh, Church Farm, which is an actual campsite on a farm. I'm joined by Owen from Albion Wild Camping. Uh, he's in his car at the moment. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to just drive over to sort of where sort of the camping area is. It's in, in like a, a wooded area on the farm. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff to set up and I've got my Jack Wolfskin Gossamer 10 uh, 3 by 3 metre tarp. You could call this glamping really. Uh, it's not really, of course it's not wild camping. So I know uh, we've got some Christmas food, some costumes, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Uh, we've just done a day walk around Ardley, 6.5 mile walk. So check that video out if you've not seen it already. Um, yeah, we're going to get cracking. So, uh, We'll chat to you in a bit. Stay tuned. Right, welcome back, guys. We're now in the uh, the woodland part of a uh, church farm. They've got loads of these little like cabins that you can stay in for fifty quid a night, and they're pretty banging. Loads of tables, all that sort of stuff. So we parked up sort of further up that way and carried carried our stuff down. We're going ultra light tonight. You wait till you see this lot. Ultra. Ultra light, super ultra light, <laughs> featherweight. Seriously, you're going to be like uh, asking us for tips on how do you get so light, man? And uh, yeah, I think this could take quite a while to set up. So uh, yeah, come back tomorrow. yeah, come back tomorrow, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we should have the lights done. Like I say, I'm going to try and turn this into winter wonderland for you. Right, chat to you in the near distant future. So we've been setting up here in the in the woodland area of Church Farm, and uh, yeah, this is just the start. Trust me. So I've got my Jack Wolf skin, got some one man tent, all Christmas up. Did try to use some uh, fake snow on it, and I don't really think you're meant to. So. Uh, yeah, probably uh, maybe not the wisest idea, but gone with a tinsel, gone with the stocking. So inside, got a little uh, Gillette lantern on there. I don't know why, actually. I don't really need it. Um, so yeah, weight is not an issue on this camp, so we pulled out all the stops, really. Hence why it's taken us so long to set up. So inside this little beauty. Um, Firm arrest, Z light, foam underneath. It's going to be minus one tonight. Uh, full length, uh, firm arrest, uh, inflating pads. So two warmest pads I've got. OEX, Rome 200 sleeping bag. Uh, OEX cotton bag liner inside. Donuts, <laughs> Pringles. Uh, that's the book. Stuff sack pillow as always. OEX pillow as always. Uh, me. Oh, Gossamer gear, Mariposa old school 60 litre rucksack over there. I've got two down jackets for some reason. Sleeping gear in there, etc. Um, etc. Et Thank you very much. Right, and my attire, as is Christmas. We reindeer out of it from Sainsbury's years ago. Got my uh, nice camp 80s moon boots on as well. Cheers, Mum. Found them in the loft and then behave. Reindeer jumper as well. Right. Uh, oh yeah, cute little towel as well. There you go, Candice. Anyway, um, right. I mean, let's have a look at your setup next. Cool. Right, and then uh, yeah, this is Owen's setup. He's just got my uh, free night torch at the moment because it's pretty powerful. Right, go on. You wanna? Yeah. So it's the uh, snug pack bunker. Um, I've got the snug pack travel light sleep mat. Just have a look in here. Oh, bloody hell! There's loads of space in there. Yeah, I've got what? foam roll mat. It's the Softy Elite Three snug pack sleeping bag. Pee bottle. <laughs> Where's the pee <laughs> should've, bottle? Should have hidden that. Oh yes, right over the back. Bloody hell! And it's got that angle to it as well. Yeah, I needed to get the big size. You see. <laughs> <laughs> right, can't have it. Go on, carry on. My Bergen, there it is, and just my bag. That's it, really. 
I mean, you've got your big stow bag as well. Yeah. For bringing more equipment in. Oh, you got more lights. Oh, that's my Christmas tree. Oh, you got a Christmas tree in here as well. <laughs> Brilliant. It's banging. Right. That's all for yours, yeah? Yep. Lovely. Oh. And how many people does this sleep? Uh, it's a three man. That's a palace. Absolute palace. Oh, hang on. There we go. I'll let you do the door. Oh, I'm gonna leave, Are you going to leave it? Okay. And then also, uh, we've been joined by our mysterious friend, Alan. And uh, yeah, he's got uh, the Van Gogh Blade 100. It's funny, but uh, it looks so much like my tent. But uh, Alan's got good taste, obviously. So uh, um, he basically, we turned up and he basically set his tent up, got in there and refused to help us out. So uh, we're not best pleased with Alan at the moment, are we, Owen? No. No. Come on, Alan, come out. We're filming, mate. Alan! 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 You in there, Alan? I don't think he's in there, Owen. Nah. Jesus. Oh, you're no fun, Alan. Honestly, you're a bloody disgrace. Anyways, right, moving on. On to our top. Okay, setup. and then this is our top setup. So I've got my uh, Lomo three by three meter tarp. Uh, of course, the the tables were already here. We didn't cart them in, blimey. Um, yeah plenty of space under here and uh, that's Owen's little set up there he's got a nice luxury fishing chair um, including a table that's going to be the fire area so I, you know, I don't think we've got enough wood I really don't I think we might freeze uh, yeah we've got that then we've got Owen's barbecue as well banging because we're doing you've got cheeseburgers haven't you yes mate absolutely top banana primed and ready oh lovely i love a bit of primed beef anyway uh moving on yeah so that's that's kind of our warmth setup i'm pretty toasty in a rudolph um sounds dodgy right uh then yeah i've got loads of gas as well that i want to use up don't know about using that xt3 though it flared up on me the other day candice was there wasn't good um then we've got I've got three and a half litres of water, probably two and a bit now. Oh, Owen, yeah, thought we are going to be in the desert, so uh, bought a jerry can, nice one. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, and then I've got this uh, two litre soya bag as well, but it's got a little split in the top, so probably a little bit less now. Pringles again. Uh, I've got some food for the morning, my usual sort, sort of setup. Uh, it's a hexy stove, I don't know why that's there. Uh, oh yeah, booze, that's it. It's the most important bit. Uh, I've got three HCC cheapo ciders, the other one's over there. Then, Christmas themed food, we've got mince pies. We've got six crackers to pull. Uh, then, we've got in... Can I just get you to hold that for a second? Owen's holding yous at the moment. We've got... Not one, two packs, pigs in blankets. Awesome. Absolutely banging. Yeah, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> We've uh, done the tarp up as well uh, with some lights. Hopefully they're still working. We've got tinsel as well. Uh, oh yeah, we've got a little uh, Christmas tree as well um, with a star on it. Yeah, I think that's from last year and all. We've got some uh, some little white fairy lights in it. Owen's big work light there. Then we've got all these little beauties. Oh yeah, and Owen, last but not least, Christmas jumper as well. That could be going. Yeah. Merry Christmas. 
Okay, I've uh, just got the fire lit in this little fire pit. Uh, we put basically everything on it. There's a fire log, there's some birch bark logs, there's some what they call troll turds. Really shitty fire logs. Yeah, uh, kindling, uh, there's fire lighters, birch bark, um, wood wool, uh, there's even the old uh, 45 year old bag from my solid fuel stove that I used on the walk earlier. It's so warm. Uh, by the way, yep, cheated. Used the older uh, long handled lighter. They're brilliant. And uh, yeah, tried with the fire still. I think mean, it's a good thing if you don't really care about the weight and stuff, or you're just getting into camping or something, and you, you know, you're not too good at getting a fire lit with like a steel or something. Just bring one of these. I think they're pretty good. Like, if anyone criticises you, gives a shit. You know, does the job, doesn't it? It works. You look incredibly content. Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, who else? No, Alan does, actually. Alan, are you happy? Alan. Oh, what's Alan up to? I think he's still in here, isn't he? Alan, we've got the fire lit. We've got the barbecue lit. Alan. 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 No, nah, oh, forget him. I mean, it's a joke, honestly. Bloody embarrassment, honestly. He knows it's a special night for me as well. We've still not got enough wood. Oh, it's looking dodgy, honestly. How will we cope? We'll have to just, I don't know, fling some squirrels on the fire or something. It's a quarter we won't. past nine. Quarter past nine in the PM. How cool is this? Let me just, uh... yeah. Merry Christmas. back uh, we're a cider or two in we've uh, got tea hot chocolate coffee uh, waiting for uh, Owen's uh, billy can to boil it's like a litre and a half or something that fits on the fire still not got enough firewood uh, yeah it's all going well uh, Owen's just done the burgers Yummy. lovely <coughs> And uh, I drop it. I won't. <laughs> Lovely. Look at that. Cheers, mate. Oh, it's got cheese and bacon in as well. Yeah, a bit of a weird order. You usually have the cheese at the top. Though. That's brilliant. Cheers, mate. Right. Tuck in. Oh, he's got Tommy K as well. Brilliant. Good times. Pigs in blankets next, I reckon. Yeah, man. Okay. <clears throat> um. Hopefully, you can uh. You can see me, sort of experiment with the lights here, but Owen's, uh, yeah, dished us up some cheese, bacon, burgers. Cheers, mate. Welcome, buddy. That's a bloody good burger. That is absolutely brilliant. Cheers, mate. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. We got another one each, haven't we, or something you said? Epic. Welcome back everyone. Fire's going lovely. Got another cider on the go, hot chocolate and coffee. 
<laughs> Chilled. <laughs> yeah. Relaxing hard. Absolutely chilling. Um, yeah, and Owen has kindly got me a Christmas card. Cheers, mate. Right. So, uh, yeah. Tom Outdoors, right. Whoa. Christmas wishes. Christmas, mate. Thanks for all the awesome wild camps this year. Have a great Christmas New Year. All the best. Owen and Louise. Lovely. Cheers, mate. You're welcome. Excellent. I, can, uh, I could hang it on the tent, couldn't I? <laughs> Oh, and he's got me a present as well. Look at that. Absolute star. Cheers, mate. Right. Let's uh, get the car set up. Okay. No peepee. -pee. Oh, no peeping. <laughs> <laughs> it just says that no peepee. -pee. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I just saw that. That's brilliant. No peeping. Brilliant. Cheers. <laughs> That was genuine, honestly. I didn't even put that on. I genuinely saw that. I thought, what has he got? Oh, shit. Oh, I know what you've kind of got me. <laughs> I was talking about these earlier. What an absolute arsehole. And he said something else then. Mate, that's absolutely brilliant. Right. You know what they are, people? Bloody pair of softy trousers. Oh, I might have to get out of this gear now and stick them on. They are banging. <laughs> Excellent. Cheers, mate. Absolute star. Welcome, mate. Cheers. Mm. Absolute banging. Nice one. I might do the thing that Will did and turn them into like dwarf trousers. <laughs> he accidentally pulled the wrong cord or something. Anyway, that's brilliant. Cheers, mate. Welcome. Right. Banging. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, Owen has uh, very kindly also got us another present. This was, uh, well, we're celebrating Christmas, ain't we? But this was, I'm sure he won't mind you telling me telling you uh, basically it was to celebrate he thought I was going to hit a thousand subscribers tonight but it's not to be 992 at the moment so but eight to go if any of you have got eight friends out there just uh, you know just tell them they ain't even got to watch this shit no I'm joking <laughs> it'll, it'll, <coughs> it'll happen eventually so yeah he's kindly got us Massive bottle of champers. Wee. Lovely, cheers, mate. That's absolutely banging. So, uh, literally, so uh, I could do a little review of it. Uh, Louis Delune, brute. <laughs> Sounds like an asbo. He's a brute. Anyway, uh, Cuvée Prestige, vintage 2012. International Silver Wine Winner Challenge 2017. Uh, what else? 12% volume. Uh, this delightful, elegant, vintage champagne is made from 65% Pinot Noir, 15% uh, Chardonnay and 20% Mounier grapes. The result is a beautifully golden champagne with aromas of brioche and white fruits. On the palate, it is bursting with flavours of stone fruits and honey. A fine fizz, which is perfect for celebrating those special moments. Serve <laughs> chills. Doesn't it sound just more elegant than the, the cider ones? Yeah. You know? It's like crisp, refreshing, banging. That's it, yeah. That's pretty cool. Right. Should we crack this open, yeah? Yep. And... Whee! Whee! Whoa, shit! <laughs> Got a bit excited. Oh. Sniff the cork. Nah. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. And yeah, cheers. Oh, nice. I could have gone done the thing they do in Formula One, but it'd be a waste. Right. Oh, banging. Cheers. Ah, oh, it's like a. At first, it almost tastes like a side of that. <laughs> oh. That's what it says on the bottle. I'd give that 7.5 out of 10. Cheers. All right, guys, let's give this a try. Hmm, it's nice. I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. Wow, a 10 <laughs> out of 10. There's no such thing. It's per you can't get perfect. I mean, just...
You, didn't you say that? I, could... I guess that's a bit biased. So you're gonna have to go for a, an 8.5, I think. Decent. You uh, didn't you say like that could become your your main drink? Cheers. Definitely my poison of choice. So I tell you what, Alan is missing out on this. You want some, Alan? Alan, Alan. Do you want some champers, mate? Alan! Anti-social bastard, honestly. Could have at least made an effort. I know, he's made no effort at all, all night. It's it's just disgusting, honestly. Get in the comments and seriously, vent some spleen on Alan. <laughs> it's an absolute joke. You're a mistake in life, mate, honestly. Right, um... Yeah, I accidentally uh, burnt the pigs in blankets a little bit, but I've salvaged, uh salvaged a few of them here to go with me Pringles and some Tommy K from Mackie D's <laughs> healthy and nutritious healthy and nutritious definitely yeah wash it all down with some champagne <laughs> and then I would say hire a PT <laughs> I've got my tent over there the uh, Owens red light district's over there he's uh, still not had any customers yet have you unfortunately not no customers honestly we're, we're not promoting it enough Honestly, I think the wood's finally starting to go down, uh, as is the food. I think it's uh, it's time for Owen's dessert. We've got chocolate cake, uh, Belgian chocolate cake, and a custard. Yeah. Absolutely banging. And I've got some mince pies over there as well, we can chuck them in with it. Right, the moment has come. We've uh, sort of warmed the custard up a little bit on uh, my XT3 gas stove. Plenty up. And uh, it, it wasn't great because I think where the, the gas is cold, even though it's been in the sleeping bag, it's, uh, it's sort of nearing the end. So I'm trying to just run these down and uh, yeah, it's sputtering a bit. But we've got it sort of warmish. And then I was doing the cake. I'll have this tiny piece. But... Lovely jubbly, right, and then yeah. I'm gonna pour some on there. Go on. Do you want yours in there after? No, go on this. Oh, look at that. Thanks. That's a lot of custard. <laughs> I thought we could have spread it out. That is brilliant. Cheers. Yeah. Nice uh, uh, uh. yeah. Right. Ah, hang on. Owen's got uh, crackers. Right. On crackers. Oh, I can only do one at a time. Oh. Okay. Oh, mate. That's a fix. Nah. Jim Gaines. <laughs> 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 yeah. Anyway, I don't know what that was. I mean, pull my cracker. Right. Merry I'm Christmas. Go on, I'll let you win. Go on, Big Paul. Yes. A game, I think. Not sure what that is. Hang on. Chien dog, poisson, it's got French on it. Oh, I've no idea. We've had too much to drink to uh, be able to determine the whereabouts or whatever that is. Forget it, right? Yeah, it looks French. Have you? Can I have a hat, though. Excellent, that's all you need is a hat. Well, uh, welcome back, guys. I'm now in my Jack Walskin Gossamer tent. Forgotten how cosy this is. It is luxury as well. Should sleep pretty warm. I've got uh, uh, Owen's uh, softy trousers that he gave me. Absolutely brilliant. They are so warm. My usual down jacket. I'm looking a bit more normal now. Um, got my carrot in here. Banging. And, uh, Got some mince pies. It's about half four in the morning now, so probably should get some sleep anyway. We can sort of lay in here because, of course, it's campsite, so we'll probably get up about nine o'clock maybe. So, uh, yeah, all that leaves me to say is I'll let you know how I sleep in the morning. And, uh, yeah, see you then. Bye bye.
banging. Yeah. Well, good morning, guys. It's uh, about quarter past half past ten now. So, uh, the good thing about here is, of course, you can have a lay in, but I've got to get off to work. So, uh, I slept really well and incredibly warm. Um, yeah, the softy trousers were really toasty with this setup. So, um, yeah, no cold spots at all. Uh, I think we might have had a little bit of rain in the night. We'll get out we'll soon, see. So, uh, yeah, time to get some food on the go. See what Owen's up to. So we've awoke to a bit of a misty, murky kind of a morning. But this is the remains of a camp from last night. So I was over here with the Jack Wolfskin Gossamer 1. A bit of tinsel, stocking the fake snow attempt and uh, I was absolutely toasty I had these uh, softy trousers on from Owen my bivvy boots that I'm wearing now my down jacket, I was so warm tinsel around the top I've switched the, uh, the fairy lights off at the moment just got the fire going again with the last of our wood and kindling stuck Owen's billy can on there to uh, boil up some water for hot drinks and breakfast barbecues out that was good I think Alan still hasn't made an appearance Alan Alan it's the morning sleep, Alan? nothing made no effort at all we'll never take him again anyway yeah bloody hell no way Open it. Santa must have been in the night. Whoa. No way! Yeah, what well, Santa's bought me? Santa outdoors. <laughs> Beans and burgers. They're your favourite, aren't they? Oh, thank you very much, Santa outdoors. <clears throat> oh, I'm sure he's saying you're welcome somewhere. Probably around the other side of the globe by now. And something else. Did you leave him anything out? Did you leave him? Did you leave the carrot, the sherry, oh, yeah. the mince pie, it's and the HCC cider out? I did, it's gone. I think he's more a fan of HCC cider. Wow. And wow, a Go Outdoors gift card for how much? Ten a tenner. Pounds. Wow, Santa Outdoors is really generous. Absolutely brilliant. Well, that is a cracking, well, it's not Christmas morning, but you get the vibe anyway. So, uh... It's all been good. The car just breaking up the uh, the atmosphere there. Cheers, thank you. Um, <laughs> we are right by a road. How was uh, is it? How was the bunker? It was snug. <laughs> snug, and you was packed in. <laughs> well, that sounds a bit odd. <laughs> oh, you're a bit packed in. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Yeah, it's good. Slept, slept pretty well. How did you sleep? Uh, fantastic. Yeah. No, I was comfy, warm. Brilliant. It's a banging job, wasn't it? It was good. So yeah, these are the uh, those chalets in question. Uh, I think they're 50 quid a night. Definitely going to uh, consider taking Candice here and uh, hope there's no one in this one. No, there's not. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see in there. You've got like, looks like a double bed. There's a wood burning stove just through here. That's behind that mesh grill, some chairs, table. I mean, it's basic, you know, so you, you still have to bring like sleeping bags, stuff like that, but be a lot warmer out of the wind and rain. Yeah, and then you've got sort of benches outside in the morning. So yeah, that's pretty cool that. Definitely uh, think about bringing her here, camping a glorified shed. I like it. So, uh, 
Anyway, so this is a uh, this is camp, right? Right, welcome back. We're all packed up. Leave no trace. And uh, yeah, park the car there. That's the good thing about this sort of camping. You can just drive your uh, your car down and pack up easier. So yeah, I've cleared up. Owen's cleared up. And uh, yeah, that's our bag of rubbish we're taking with us. All in all, it's been pretty good, really. So uh, Owen's just at the car, putting some stuff away, and then uh, we'll sign off. Right, we're all uh, packed up, so cheers Owen for uh, a cracking Christmas camp. Yeah, it's been a good one. It has been very good. Thank you for watching, thank you for the softy trousers and the champagne. Yeah, thank you for your gifts. I mean, uh, Santa Outdoors is a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right, um, all I've got to say is uh, Merry Christmas everyone. Thank you for your support this year and you will see me in the new year. Cheers. Merry see you later. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Alan! Alan, we're going now. You better not be dead in there. I haven't seen him all day and all night. Oh, bloody hell. Alan's gone. Where's Alan? Tent's completely empty. Ah. Oh. Alan. 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 Alan! 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 What a c-